what's going on everyone it's the bonk father aka charting crypto as other known wise uh today we're doing the daily update on bonk which is down 2.8 percent we've been keeping a close eye on this riding on that 382 area and that was a very very critical support area for us but bonk seemed to have might have broken it so are we going to overtake that well, that's what we're going to be talking about today so with that let's get into the price prediction and technical analysis on bonk Okay, everyone, let's get in the bonk. So we've been keeping a close eye on this channel right here. Yes, we did break out of it. We did cover that breakout. We were hovering around this 382. This is the day chart. And we recently broke below it. That is not a good sign for bonk right now. So the people who thought they missed the bonk train, it might be docking one more time for you guys to load up. As everyone knows, I'm extremely bullish on this coin. I think it's going to perform exponentially well in the bull run. Uh, so right now, let's just look at the day chart uh indicators indicators right now we have the macd losing his bullish momentum rsi is pretty stagnant right now we also have the wtx uh, a little bit lower right now so we are below this 382 so i'm not too concerned about that the way that it goes though on the day chart it might be a possibility of it heading down to five even and then working its way back up but that that would technically mean that we are in a downtrend then because we were technically in this channel this channel is an uptrend and once you start making a lower high and a lower low, that's a downtrend for Bonk. And I don't want to be bearish on Bonk. Never want to be bearish on Bonk. But it just means you can accumulate more at a lower price. I mean, bull run's not here yet. What what is uh what is a bear market or the beginning of the bull run meant for? Accumulating as much as possible until we start running. So as of right now, you might be seeing a good opportunity to pick up some Bonk on the day chart. Let's look at the four hour. Four hour time frame for Bonk. We toss on the MACD. The MACD, yes, we're bull, we're bearish. RSI is tailing down. We have the WTX tailing down as well. So there is a possibility that Bonk's to be heading down to 5-1 right here. So with that being said, that's that's an 11% drop from where we're currently at. You know, I'm super bullish on Bonk, but I got to keep it realistic. I can't just say up, 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 moon, moon, moon. You got to, you got to, you know, be in reality and actually look at these charts. And what this is saying here is, Bonk might be heading down a little bit lower, guys. So if you're if you're looking to accumulate bonk or you thought you missed the bonk train, this might be the stop right here. We might see that stop at the 236, and then that might be a reversal to the upside. Because there really is no support in between this 382 and 236. Unless we, I mean, we could probably we could probably shrink this fib down a little bit. But yeah, see, right now this is the 236 here on the micro fib. So yeah, if we if we break below 575. If we break below 575, that's going to be the next stop down there at around that five even for Bonk. So as of right now, Bonk is bearish in the short term. Obviously, I'm super bullish on it in the long term. So what does that mean? If you look at it, glass half full, that means you're able to pick up some more Bonk at a cheaper price. And if you just look at this this right here in the larger, uh, larger view, that's a shoulder, that's a head, that's a shoulder right there. So if we get that capitulation down, that's a head and shoulders pattern. Head and shoulders pattern is bullish. We didn't really have one right here. We had the W right here, which was bullish. And now we're forming a shoulder, head, shoulder, and then we can rip out. So I'd be keeping an eye on the possible slight dip down for Bonk. And I think that's the lowest we go. And then we could rip ass out of here. So... That's pretty much it for Bond, guys. With that, none of this is financial advice. And if there's any coins you'd like me to chart, or if you'd just like to chat with me, you can post them on my Discord or in my Twitter. The links are below in the description.